Hello, it's Mafia Recap speaking. Today, I will be giving a rundown of the movie Atomic Blonde, which was released in 2017. Please note that there will be spoilers in my review. Without further ado, let's dive into the film. In 1989, tensions are high between the East and West as the Berlin Wall stands as a stark symbol of the divided world. MI6 agent James Gaskin is on a vital mission to obtain a list, a microfilm hidden in a wristwatch, that contains the identities of all active Soviet field agents. The list was handed to Gaskin by a highly valued informant known as Spyglass, who was promised protection by MI6 in exchange for the information. This list has the potential to extend the Cold War for another four decades, and its whereabouts are closely guarded by the intelligence agencies of all governments involved. However, Gaskin's mission takes a tragic turn when he is fatally shot and killed by the KGB agent Yuri Bakhtin, who successfully steals the list. This loss poses a major threat to the security of MI6 and other intelligence agencies. Notably, Yuri remains in Berlin, making him a priority target for retrieval. In the aftermath of Gaskin's death, Lorraine Broughton, an incredibly skilled and experienced MI6 operative, is called in to be interrogated about her recent mission to Berlin. The story unfolds in a series of flashbacks as she recounts her harrowing experiences. Lorraine's mission is to travel to Berlin to recover the list and also to eliminate Satchel, a notorious double agent who has been providing sensitive information to the Soviets for an extended period. The list supposedly contains the identity of Satchel, making it highly valuable to MI6. Spyglass contacts David Percival, the MI6's top man in Berlin, and claims to have handed the list to Gaskin. However, Percival is skeptical, as Gaskin never appeared to collect the list, leaving it shrouded in mystery. When Lorraine arrives in Berlin, she is immediately met with dangerous KGB agents, under the command of Alexander Bramovich, an arms dealer and KGB associate, try to capture her. Fortunately, Lorraine manages to evade the ambush, thanks to the timely intervention of her main contact, David Percival. As she continues her investigation, Lorraine comes across Delphine LaSalle a French agent who has been tracking her since she arrived in Berlin. Amidst the high-stakes mission, Lorraine and Delphine develop a romantic relationship, adding complexity to the already tense situation. Meanwhile, Bakhtin makes it known that he intends to sell the list to the highest bidder, further intensifying the race to recover it. After several attempts to locate the list prove futile, Lorraine decides to search Gaskin's apartment for clues. There, she finds a photograph of Gaskin with Percival, leading her to suspect that Percival may be Satchel. Lorraine's suspicions grow stronger when she is ambushed by the West German police at the apartment, realizing that Percival must have tipped them off. Despite the danger, Lorraine continues her mission and sets out to unravel the truth behind Satchel and the missing list. In a pivotal moment, Bakhtin meets his demise at the hands of Percival, who seizes the list for himself. Percival then meets with Bramovich, a meeting captured on film by Delphine. When Lorraine is informed that Spyglass has memorized the list and wants to defect, she is infuriated that Percival kept this vital piece of information from her, as it would have changed her approach to the mission. As events unfold, Percival informs MI6 that he has the list and claims to know Satchel's identity, information that was concealed from Lorraine. He offers to help escort Spyglass and his family safely to West Berlin. However, during the operation, Percival betrays them, leading to Spyglass's tragic death. It becomes evident to Lorraine that Percival has betrayed her and Spyglass, and the true extent of his deception becomes clear. Delphine, who had been trailing Lorraine on Percival's orders, realizes his malevolence and confronts him. In a desperate attempt to cover his tracks, Percival kills Delphine. By the time Lorraine arrives at Delphine's apartment, it is too late to save her, but she discovers crucial evidence in the form of photographs taken by Delphine, which expose Percival as Satchel. As Percival tries to escape, Lorraine confronts him and ultimately kills him, securing the list. In a shocking revelation, Lorraine discloses that she was the real target all along, not Spyglass. Percival had intended for the KGB to eliminate her, believing she was Satchel. This revelation sheds light on the intricate web of deception that had surrounded the mission from the start. Back at MI6 for her debriefing, Lorraine presents the evidence against Percival, showcasing his treachery. She denies any knowledge of the list's current whereabouts, forcing the agency to close the case. However, the story doesn't end there. Three days later, Lorraine meets with Bramovich in Paris, revealing herself as Satchel. She hands him a fake list, but he sees through her ruse. A violent confrontation ensues, resulting in the elimination of Bramovich's henchmen. 
Lorraine reveals that she had been masterfully manipulating events from the very beginning, orchestrating a complex game of deceit. In a surprising twist, Lorraine discloses that she is, in fact, an American triple agent planted by the CIA. She returns with Kurzfeld to Langley, having accomplished her mission and effectively outsmarted all the intelligence agencies involved. The gripping and intricate tale of espionage and betrayal comes to a close, leaving the audience with a sense of awe at the depth of Lorraine's skills and cunning as a spy in the volatile world of Cold War espionage. That's all from the video. Thanks for your time. And take care.